Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know I didn't upload last week. I'm really trying to work on being more consistent with my uploads, but what happened was um, I actually did film a look and when I was watching the footage, I just really didn't like how the makeup looked. Like it looked nothing like how it was when I was actually filming. Everything just looked super muddy. So I didn't want to upload something that I wasn't feeling. But I did go ahead and film um, two looks for you guys. Well, one of them is more like my eyebrow routine, like what I do as far as um, filling in my eyebrows since I never show that. Um, and then I came up with this look. I just wanted to do something with like a berry lip. This is actually my favorite berry color. It's called Craft from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I just feel like it's so versatile and you can wear it all year round. Like it's such a pretty color. And then on the eyes, I kept it pretty simple. Um, I did drag the um, lower lash line down a little bit just to smoke it out, but you don't have to do that. Sometimes I just feel like, like a bright lip and then a simple eye always looks awesome. So if you don't like the heaviness, you can always um, opt out of smoking the lower lash line. I did try to switch it up for you guys and not film my foundation routine just because I feel like you guys have seen that like a million times. Not really because I don't even have that many videos, but you guys know what, what I mean. So anyways, um, yeah, I mean this look was really simple. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look, then just keep watching. All right, so we're gonna keep it pretty simple on the eyes. I didn't want anything too heavy just because when I wear a bold lip, I don't like my eye makeup to be too heavy. Sometimes I do, but for this look, I didn't want that. So I just went into the Urban Decay Naked One palette and I took the shade Naked and I'm running that into my crease and also as my transition shade. I'm just going into the Naked 2 palette and I am taking the shade Suspect and I'm just going to use that and run it all across my lid. I didn't want anything too shimmery so I didn't spray any Fix Plus. I just wanted like everything on my eye to be pretty subtle so no Fix Plus for this. If you want to make it a little bit shimmery you can do that but I just chose to keep it pretty simple on the eye. For the inner corner highlight, I just mixed two shades together. From the Naked 2 palette, I took the shade Booty Call. And then from the Naked 1 palette, I took the shade Virgin. And I just ran that in the inner corner as a highlight. I wanted everything to be super bright. Honestly, you guys could probably get this look by just using the Naked 1 palette. I was just being extra. But I did end up running, um, I think, let me check what the shade is. It's called a Sidecar. I ended up taking a little bit of Sidecar and running that onto the lid with my finger as well. So honestly, literally, for real though, you could just use the Naked One palette and get the same look. It just doesn't have a black shade, which um, I used from the Naked Two palette. So if you only have the Naked One palette, you can still create this look. Now I'm just going in with some liquid eyeliner. This one is from Sephora and I'm just gonna create not necessarily a thick wing, but it is going to be pretty long. I'm extending it out a little bit. So that is what I'm doing. Um, and I'm only going to be doing one eye on camera just because I feel like eyeliner is already hard enough to apply anyway. Doing it on camera is like that much harder. Now I'm just going to go ahead and apply some black eyeliner to my waterline and also tightline. The pencil that I am using is from NARS. Okay. 
So I'm just going to be picking up both of the colors that I used on the lid earlier. So first I'm going to grab Suspect from the Naked 2 palette and then on top of that I'm just running Sidecar from the Naked 1 palette. I just wanted um, a little bit of like shimmer on the lower part of my eye. And then I'm going to take the black eyeshadow from the Naked 2 palette, it's called Blackout. And I'm just going to run just the tiniest bit. Um, on the outer corner of the eye and kind of connecting it to the eyeliner to give it more of like a cat eye effect um, But I wanted to keep it pretty soft I didn't want to smoke it out too far or like smoke out the whole lower lash line So I did pick up a little bit more of the um, Colors that I used on the lid just so that it would be like almost like an ombre effect where I went from like the shimmery light color to almost a gray and then to the black and I'm just going with my bronzer um, it's the Mac give me sun bronzer don't mind me I there was like a spot on my face I was like what is that but it came off when I put the bronzer on so that's what I am using I was mixing the Kat Von D uh, middle contour shade in there but I was running low and I just felt like I should save that for my contour so I'm just using give me sun right now to help warm up my face and bronze it up Now I'm just contouring. I am using the two lightest shades from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'm just going to contour the cheekbones, my temples, and I contoured my nose off camera. Now I'm just using the peachy highlight shade from that same palette to clean up my contour and also create a little bit of space. To highlight, I am using Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal and I'm just going to highlight um, the tops of my cheekbones, my chin, the cupid's bow and also down the center of my nose. Last but not least, I am going to be taking a Gingerly Blush from MAC and I'm just going to run that in between where I did the contour and the highlight. Um, I just feel like putting on blush last helps everything just look better and more bl well blended. And then I just grab a clean stippling brush and I'm just going to use that to make sure that there are no harsh lines on my face, okay? and. I did take off, or I'm sorry, not take off. I did put on mascara and lashes off camera. Now I'm just going in with the MAC, uh, it's called Magenta Lip Liner to line my lips. Alright, so to finish off the look, I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Craft. I love this color so much. It's such a pretty berry shade. I feel like you could wear it any time of the year and it'll look good on any skin tone. You guys need to try Craft. But anyways, this is the finished look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you try it out. It's fairly simple. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.